Hey guys, it is bright and early here. Um, sun hasn't even come up yet. And the reason I'm out here is because on the last video, I made a promise. In the next video, we're gonna be finishing the roof on the cottage. Believe it or not, it's gonna happen. And I definitely wanted to keep that promise. There's a second reason though. I'm trying to get this roof done uh, and some other things done because we're supposed to be getting the effects of hurricane, what was it? I can't remember the name, but a hurricane, which will probably be a tropical storm by then. Uh, but we're supposed to get several inches of rain in a short period of time and wind up to 60 miles an hour. Now it never rains here in the summer. And so this is very rare uh, and along with the wind. So I'm hoping that, you know, we don't have anything that gets too damaged here, but I have been working for the past several days, like a busy little bee getting some of this roof done. Uh, and we're almost there, but not only that, not only did I get the roof mostly completed, but something that's been hanging over my head for a while, I got the chimney mortared or grouted, whatever you want to call it. Now it looks quite a bit different than it looked before, and it's not going to maintain a lot of this gray cast to it because there's still, I used stucco for the mortar actually. Um, however, we actually bought mortar and tried to mix it, and <laughs> I, I'm not sure what we did wrong because there's no way this is normal, but it set up in a matter of like three minutes and it's still in the bucket hard. So I moved over to the um, stucco and actually it was a great idea because it just went on so perfectly. It took me probably three to four hours to do the entire chimney. But let me show you where we are with the roof. So up here, we've got a little bed head up here. That's the section that I did most recently and it has not had the heat gun on it yet to lay it down. We've got the dormer done. Well, not done. It still needs to be groomed. It's looking a little Tina Turner-ish right there um, and a little unkempt on the sides, but the heat gun will fix that. And if you notice, this entire roof is done. And over here, I was out here till dark last night. This side of the roof is also finished, just needs the heat gun to lay it down. All that's left is the gable here. So it's a really interesting process and it's just an amazing product. I'll leave a link down below. They did not give me this roofing product for free. I definitely, definitely paid for it. But uh, full disclosure, they gave me, I think it was a five or 10% discount um, if I would show it on the channel. Well, I was gonna show it on the channel anyway. How could I not, right? Um, so I took the discount. And it's not like I wasn't gonna go with them because they're the only company that does this. But it's a really cool product. It's fire resistant. It basically melts instead of burns. Um, so living in fire country, that's a good thing. We definitely don't need a Roman candle going up here. But it's very stiff, very durable. I think it's got a 30 year warranty on it. And it just looks so real, so authentic. But it goes on in layers. The first layer is this thick piece that gets uh, screwed into the bottom of the eaves. And then layer by layer, you just put this top uh, dressing on all the way up to the peak. It is a bit of an art in addition to a science. Um, so I was uh, glad that I had my artistic eye to be able to, especially on the, the the valleys in the roof and kind of bringing those together and where the gable meets uh, the actual roof line. But it was something that was really enjoyable to do. I, I really did like it. Not that I do it professionally, but I think I could at this point. So what I've got to do today is all of the heat gunning to get that to lay down and then uh, finish this gable here. I'm gonna do the heat gunning first because they have to be up on top of the roof. I wanna do that before it gets too hot. And then I can do the gable while I'm still in the shade of the gable. All right, so the heat gun results, pretty good. You can see at the top up here, the bed head is gone. We have no more Tina Turner on the peak. This is the next day, by the way, and I actually finished the rest. So right here, this is all done. That whole roof is all done. It didn't take that long. 
but I can safely say now the entire front of the roof is done in terms of putting on the thatch. Now, we do have some hair cutting to do. This and this and the two bottom edges there have to be trimmed to look like this and like this. So it's not quite so shaggy. I know it's a matter of preference in terms of what you like. To me, this unshorn looks like tiki tropical. Um, if you look at the cottages in England, all the ones I've seen are very prim, proper, cut. So, chimney's done, just needs to be washed off some of that gray. The thatch is all on. So what's left is, like I said, the trimming and the back. As far as the back of the roof, the back is going to be the tinted corrugated plastic, except for a strip along the top of thatch and along the sides on each section. That will give the back at least a finished look where it looks like thatch and then big sunroof. And that is basically just for the light. And because I didn't want to pay almost double for the roof material. So a little bit later today, I'm gonna to take you guys on a field trip and I'll let you know what that's gonna be in the car. Hey guys, we're on a little field trip and we are headed back to see Daisy again. It's been a couple of months since we were there before and we just wanted to check in and really wanted to check in because we have some special visitors this week. Well, we've got Emily here. Hi. And we've also got my sister-in-law, Tammy, who you might recognize from old Next Level Gardening videos. And then my nephews, say hi, Z Zachary. Hi. Brady, say hi. Hi. <laughs> so we thought we would head out there and uh, see how she's doing. We'll take you along. That was fun but it was a really really long day I was actually out at 6 o'clock this morning working on the cottage roof because I need to work in the cool of the day and we had that field trip to do but I'm really happy we're nearing the finish line on that next few days are gonna be uh, a little iffy uh, apparently we have a hurricane headed our way uh, it'll be a tropical storm if it gets here I don't know I've never been a part of one of those so, to be continued? <laughs> 